Summer shorts, let's talk about them. So let's actually get the video started with these Kith shorts. I bought these shorts a few years ago. I love them. When it comes to unique looking shorts, Kith always delivers. Like I got my eye on a few other shorts right now. These shorts, however, aren't so unique, but they are very premium. You've got the metal tip drawstrings, the zipper pockets on both sides. And by the way, zipper pockets should be a staple in all shorts, just saying. Now, I don't remember how much I paid for these shorts, but based on their current pricing on their sites, damn straight, they better come with zipper pockets and metal tip drawstrings. That's the least they can do. But yeah, it's in this yellow tan color. You've got that Kith embroidery, subtle, but looks good. I usually like rocking this with lighter colors because these shorts are lighter and on the pastel side I do rock black with these sometimes too but I just feel that monochromatic look really suits these pair of shorts now up next let's move on to everyone's favorite brand Uniqlo these are the Uniqlo U parachute shorts I would hold it up right now but I'm actually wearing it now I know a lot of fashion advice out there says oh don't ever wear cargo shorts don't ever wear shorts past the knees Nah, man. The shorts you pick out don't look good. There's a lot of good looking shorts that go past the knees. You just gotta keep your eye out for them. Now, these cargo shorts with the little drawstrings dangling outside of them, yeah, those are kind of whack. So I see where everyone's coming from. But just keep an eye out, man. Yeah, these ones are around the knee or a little bit past the knee, depending on if you wanna hike it up or not. Because there's plenty of room with these. These are basically parachute pants, but a shorts version of it. So you've got five pockets the cargo pockets, a pocket behind that, and a back pocket. I do wish there were regular hand pockets right here. That's my my only gripe with these shorts but they do come with belt loops so you can add a carabiner or an extended belt I usually like doing this because it's a great way to layer for the summertime without adding any extra heat and of course if you're stuffing your pockets with things it's gonna weigh down your shorts so you want a belt for that to hold it up it's also super elastic at the waist making them comfortable to put on usually I'm rocking this with a sleeveless tee or a tank with a camp collar shirt that's just been my vibe lately kind of like what I'm doing right now just like this fragrance has been my vibe lately that you can get over from the sponsor of today's video Dior. That's right, fellas. Johnny and Dior, man. That's what's up. This is all thanks to you guys. And since Father's Day is right around the corner, I think this makes for a great gift. You know, I feel like fathers don't get enough love and appreciation. However, it's time to change that. Let's grab a seat. So as I'm becoming more of an adult, have more responsibilities, I have no one else to thank but my dad. So my dad came to America from Vietnam and he came literally fresh off the boat. And in his boats, there was about 20 other people, all of them looking for a better life. However, the ocean was a force to be reckoned with. And unfortunately, over half the people on that boat didn't make it, but my dad did. He didn't know a word of English. All he knew was how to work with his hands. We were on welfare. We struggled a lot. It's something I don't really like to talk about all too much. And even though we grew up that way, my brain wasn't impoverished because my dad instilled a lot of values and principles that I still abide by. And it's those principles and values that led me to go from being in poverty to working with Dior today. It's pretty crazy and I'm blessed to have a father. So one of the gifts I'm giving to my dad is this Father's Day gift set from Dior. And might I recommend either one of these gift sets that does come with a travel canister, which makes it easy to bring your fragrance anytime you travel. And so here are the two that I recommend. Dior Om, which basically means Dior for men. This fragrance has notes of wood and spice to it. And then we have Dior Sauvage. This one has more citrus and wood notes. It has a very masculine scent and my dad is getting this one. So fellas, if you're looking for a Father's Day gift, I couldn't recommend any more the Dior Father's Day gift set. It's also a great pickup for yourself as well. It's the summertime. We're talking about shorts. So you want to make sure you smell good as well. Now, if you pick one of these gift sets up or you spend over $130, make sure to use code Johnny24 and you're going to get a complimentary gift. All you got to do is click that first link down in the description. Show a father figure some appreciation because they don't get that enough. Enough. So fellas, I just want to thank you guys for all the support over the years. Let's go back to the shorts. Now my next pair of shorts I wear every single year. It's part of a full set from Koss. So I wear this specific fit every year because it just looks so good. It's simple but tasteful. The slate gray makes these versatile. They're very comfortable. So yeah, I usually rocking this in a full set, but I also like pairing it with tops with a gray undertone. I just feel that it complements the top even better than wearing it with black shorts. Here they are side by side. I think the gray shorts look better. Now these are sweatshirts shorts so so you definitely got to tie the drawstring to make sure everything stays up and i definitely wouldn't recommend stuffing anything in your pockets your phone your keys none of that so sling bag it is and next up is a pair of shorts from nike these are called the challenger shorts and i probably wear this one more than any other shorts that i own just because i can wear this at the gym and i can wear this in casual streetwear fits now these do have a five inch inseam 
It's a little uncomfortable and weird at first. So they do have a seven inch version, which I think is a great start for most people with shorts. And the five inch inseam on me, because I'm a shorter guy, looks actually more proportionate. If you slap this on a six foot five dude, he's gonna look completely insane. So make sure you know what length of short looks good on you. So yeah, I love training in these. I love these for casual daily fits. They do have a built-in brief inside, which hey, you don't gotta wear anything at the gym. If you wear these to the gym, it's definitely a one-time wear. Make sure you wash it right away. I've washed these hundreds of times already and it still looks really good. These are specifically designed for running. So it's super light, breathable, it's sweat wicking and quick drying. And that subtle swoosh at the bottom is so tastefully done. It's not too in your face. You do have a back pocket for keeping AirPods and such, but the pockets in general aren't really the greatest because like I said, these are meant for running. So you're not really gonna keep stuff in your pocket anyways. So again, sling bag it is. And these are only 40 bucks. So it's a solid bang for the buck. You can wear it for the gym. You can wear it for your casual fits. You'll definitely get your money's worth with these and I would highly recommend them. Up next are these shorts from Amy Leondor. So Kith and ALD, they're very similar. I personally prefer Kith, but they both have some dope looking shorts. But like Kith, the price point is pretty insane. So just keep that in mind. You can get the last three shorts, the cost, the Nike and the Uniqlo shorts for less than this one. So just spend your money wisely, fellas. If you actually like the brand, you like the brand association. Okay, it's worth paying for it. But anyways, the color block is selling it for these. The green, the tan, the black, it does a lot for a fit. We are gonna be layering less this season. So a great way to make your fit pop is with a pair of shorts like these. Now, because these are a big statements, just let the shorts do their thing. So our next pair of shorts is actually a pair of pants that converts into a pair of shorts and that is the glory allen apex pants so these are a great bang for the buck because you can wear them year round longer for the colder seasons and shorts for the summer obviously who doesn't love the modularity there's a lot of uniqueness from these the adjustability of this flap the hardware the knit pockets super clean so for spring and fall i think these look dope with a crew neck but for summer I'm keeping it pretty simple. Now, another one of my favorites are these ones from Scotch and Soda. And the most interesting aspect about these shorts is the texture. Just take a look at that. It's got a towel-like feel and it makes it look and feel very premium. And it's in this mint green colorway. It's on the darker side. You've got the palm tree embroidery. Feels very summery. When it comes to colored shorts, I just like to lean into the colors with a more monochromatic look. It's a good excuse to wear more colors. And I think that's the best way to style colored shorts anyways. So we got a striped tee, olive cap from a choice made. Not bad. And finally, we have the Pace Breaker shorts from Lululemon. It's in the washer right now, but I love these shorts because I think these are underrated when it comes to wearing these casually. Lululemon is an athletic brand, but don't be afraid to wear with your casual fits, especially the black one. It's super comfortable. Looks like a regular pair of shorts instead of an athletic pair of shorts, but it comes with those athletic properties. So it's super stretchy, breathable, and moisture wicking. They come in every colorway and variation possible. Just take a look at all those colors. You can also go from five inches to seven inches nine inches. You can go linerless or lined if you don't want to wear boxer briefs. And I like these shorts a little better than the Nike shorts because when they're lined, they're lined in a boxer brief instead of a brief cut. So it's much more comfortable and they come with a phone pocket. So you can keep your phone right there whenever you go for a run. That's extremely important and that's something I always look for when it comes to running shorts. I know Lululemon can get crazy with their prices, but these ones actually aren't that bad. They're not too much more than the Nike ones, not too much more than the Uniqlo ones. And you can wear them in so many ways and customize to how you like to wear shorts. So yeah, fellas, those are my favorite shorts that I'm going to be wearing this summer. If you guys want to pick up any of these shorts, I'm going to leave them all linked down in the description if I can find them. And just full transparency, if you guys do make a purchase using those links, I do get a small kickback, which just goes back to more research, buying more clothes, and overall supporting the channel so you guys can get better videos. So open all those links in different tabs. I appreciate you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until then, stay fly, deuces.